So good morning. Here we are in March of 2022. And what we need to understand what's happening for our people is a reality of what we need to understand what's so going good on. Good morning. I'm going to switch over here and go to my Zoom window. I thought I was in Zoom. I'm going to close up some of this stuff. And um, this is where I want to be sharing the screen. And this is where I am. So here in Nevada, I've never witnessed an educational system that was established this way. And it's all about the teachers really have a lot of control here, or the people, as they have been uh, just completing assignments and basing, you know, life about honesty. And, you know, if you read their behavior thing, where they list all the things that they can, you can get kicked out of school for, well, then you just need to understand there's a ton of it out there. But we're really not following the process of education. And the Department of Education really lacks. I'm sorry. Uh, anytime you would take $8 million of federal dollars and put it in a donor's choice program, which is nothing more than a glorified PTA, and then pay people salaries and benefits for operating that. Mm -mm, that's a not-for-profit. But, you know, they, they've got enclosed in that benefits, health care, Salaries, this is what they're doing as a not-for-profit organization. And there are so many not-for-profit organizations that are bound together here in Nevada. But what we don't see is, what you're not going to see is you're not going to see the federal government allowing to demand a level of accountability because there is no accountability. There's zero. And they just spend the money any kind of way they want. But... Here we go. I want you to understand where to get the resources for demanding accountability or understanding where you should be. You know, but they have a milestone tracker application over here on this side. And I don't know, I hope I'm sharing the screen. Stop the share. Let me stop it. And let me share again. Yeah, I think I'm sharing. I am sharing. Don't want to look at myself really. But, um, Look at all these resources. This is amazing for a, a young parent. And then it, it has what you should be looking for, checklists, and all the checklists. And English, Spanish, Arabic, Brazilian, Portuguese, uh, Haitian, Simplified Chinese, Samoan, Vietnam. I mean, come on now. This is the federal government doing the work for local districts and states. And then it has, and these are free materials. You can actually order these online. You see this? And here we are. And look, there's early childhood education, but look where WIC is. But look where their home visiting program is. And I want to ask you, do you believe that it's done with the law enforcement agency? I don't think so. I really don't think so. And I think that that's the problem here. Law enforcement is way too involved in, you know, and the oversight of public uh, education. But let's just get one of these books and I'll read it for you. I'm going to stop the share and make sure I share again. Share, share, share. Share the screen. There it is. It's never know what transitions over. When your baby's at two months old, milestones matter. Let me see if I can just download this. Then I don't have to read it. Because then I'll go to the... There we go. And then I want to select all of this. And then let's just read it. Because I don't have to read it. The computer doesn't Your baby at two months. Baby's name. Baby's age. Today's date. Milestones matter. How your baby plays, learns, speaks, acts and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your baby has reached by two months. Take this with you and talk with your baby's doctor at every well-child visit about the milestones your baby has reached and what to expect next.
what most babies do by this age. Social emotional milestones calms down when spoken to or picked up looks at your face seems happy to see you and you walk up to her smiles when you talk to or smile at her language communication milestones make sounds other than crying reacts to loud sounds cognitive milestones learning thinking problem solving watches you as you move looks at a toy for several seconds movement physical development milestones holds head up when on tummy moves both arms and both legs opens hands briefly other important things to share with the doctor what are some things you and your baby do together what are some things your baby likes to do is there anything your baby does or does not do that concerns you has your baby lost any skills he she once had does your baby have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your baby best. Don't wait. If your baby is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your baby's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned. 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your baby more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your baby can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your baby, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your baby learn and grow as your baby's first teacher, you can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your baby's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your baby's development. <coughs> Respond positively to your baby. Act excited, smile, and talk to him when he makes sounds. This teaches him to take turns talking back and forth in conversation. Talk, read, and sing to your baby to help her develop and understand language. Spend time cuddling and holding your baby. This will help him feel safe and cared for. You will not spoil your baby by holding or responding to him. Being responsive to your baby helps him learn and grow. Limiting your screen time when you are with your baby helps you be responsive. Take care of yourself. Parenting can be hard work. It's easier to enjoy your new baby when you feel good yourself. Learn to notice and respond to your baby's signals to know what she's feeling and needs. You will feel good and your baby will feel safe and loved. For example, is she trying to play with you by making sounds and looking at you, or is she turning her head away, yawning, or becoming fussy because she needs a break? Lay your baby on his tummy when he is awake and put toys at eye level in front of him. This will help him practice lifting his head up. Do not leave your baby alone. If he seems sleepy, place him on his back in a safe sleep area, firm mattress with no blankets, pillows, bumper pads, or toys. Feed only breast milk or formula to your baby. Babies are not ready for other foods, water or other drinks for about the first six months of life. Learn when your baby is hungry by looking for signs. Watch for signs of hunger such as putting hands to mouth, turning head toward breast bottle, or smacking licking lips. Look for signs your baby is full, such as closing her mouth or turning her head away from the breast bottle. If your baby is not hungry, it's okay to stop feeding. Do not shake your baby or allow anyone else to, ever. You can damage his brain or even cause his death. Put your baby in a safe place and walk away if you're getting upset when he is crying. Check on him every 5 to 10 minutes. Infant crying is often worse in the first few months of life, but it gets better. Have routines for sleeping and feeding. This will help your baby begin to learn what to expect. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age.
Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cbc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your baby at four months baby's name baby's age today's date milestones matter. How your baby plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your baby has reached by four months. Take this with you and talk with your baby's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your baby has reached and what to expect next. What most babies do by this age? Social emotional milestone smiles on his own to get your attention chuckles, not yet a full laugh when you try to make her laugh looks at you, moves, or makes sounds to get or keep your attention language communication milestones make sounds like ooh, ah, ah, cooing, makes sounds back when you talk to him turns head towards the sound of your voice cognitive milestones learning, thinking, problem solving if hungry. Opens mouth when she sees breast or bottle looks at his hands with interest movement physical development milestones holds head steady without support when you are holding her holds a toy when you put it in his hand uses her arm to swing at toys brings hands to mouth pushes up onto elbows forearms when on tummy other important things to share with the doctor what are some things you and your baby do together what are some things your baby likes to do. Is there anything your baby does or does not do that concerns you? Has your baby lost any skills he she once had? Does your baby have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your baby best. Don't wait. If your baby is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your baby's doctor, share your concerns and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned. 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your baby more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your baby can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your baby, visit cbc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your baby learn and grow as your baby's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your baby's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your baby's development. Respond positively to your baby. Act excited, smile, and talk to him when he makes sounds. This teaches him to take turns talking back and forth in conversation. Provide safe opportunities for your baby to reach for toys, kick at toys and explore what is around her. For example, put her on a blanket with safe toys. Allow your baby to put safe things in his mouth to explore them. This is how babies learn. For example, let him see, hear, and touch things that are not sharp, hot, or small enough to choke on. Talk, read, and sing to your baby. This will help her learn to speak and understand words later. Limit screen time, TV, phones, tablets, etc. To video calling with loved ones. Screen time is not recommended for children younger than two years of age. Babies learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. Feed only breast milk or formula to your baby. Babies are not ready for other foods, water or other drinks for about the first six months of life. Give your baby safe toys to play with that are easy to hold, like rattles or cloth books with colorful pictures for her age. Let your baby have time to move and interact with people and objects throughout the day. Try not to keep your baby in swings, strollers, or bouncy seats for too long. Set steady routines for sleeping and feeding. Lay your baby on her back and show her a bright colored toy. Move the toy slowly from left to right and up and down to see if she watches how the toy moves. Sing and talk to your baby as you help her exercise, move her body for a few minutes. 
Gently bend and move her arms and legs up and down. To see more tips and activities, download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your baby at six months baby's name baby's age today's date milestones matter. How your baby plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your baby has reached by six months. Take this with you and talk with your baby's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your baby has reached and what to expect next. What most babies do by this age. Social emotional milestones knows familiar people likes to look at himself in the mirror laughs language communication milestones takes turns making sounds with you blows raspberries sticks tongue out and blows make squealing noises cognitive milestones learning thinking problem solving puts things in her mouth to explore them reaches to grab a toy he wants closes lips to show she doesn't want more food movement physical development milestones rolls from tummy to back pushes up with straight arms when on tummy leans on hands to support himself when sitting other important things to share with the doctor what are some things you and your baby do together what are some things your baby likes to do is there anything your baby does or does not do that concerns you has your baby lost any skills he she once had? Does your baby have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your baby best. Don't wait. If your baby is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your baby's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned, 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your baby more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your baby can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your baby, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your baby learn and grow as your baby's first teacher, you can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your baby's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your baby's development. Use back and forth play with your baby. When your baby smiles, you smile. When he makes sounds, you copy them. This helps them learn to be social. Read to your baby every day by looking at colorful pictures and magazines or books and talk about them. Respond to her when she babbles and reads too. For example, if she makes sounds, say, yes, that's the doggy. Point out new things to your baby and name them. For example, when on a walk, point out cars, trees, and animals. Sing to your baby and play music. This will help his brain develop. Limit screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. To video calling with loved ones. Screen time is not recommended for children younger than two years of age. Babies learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. When your baby looks at something, point to it and talk about it. Put your baby on her tummy or back and put toys just out of reach. Encourage her to roll over to reach the toys. Learn to read your baby's moods. If he's happy, keep doing what you are doing. If he's upset, take a break and comfort your baby. Talk with your baby's doctor about when to start solid foods and what foods are choking risks. Breast milk or formula is still the most important source of food for your baby. Learn when your baby is hungry or full. Pointing to foods, opening his mouth to a spoon, 
or getting excited when seeing food are signs that he is hungry. Others, like pushing food away, closing his mouth, or turning his head away from food tells you that he's had enough. Help your baby learn she can calm down. Talk softly, hold, rock, or sing to her, or let her suck on her fingers or a pacifier. You may offer a favorite toy or stuffed animal while you hold or rock her. Hold your baby up while she sits. Let her look around and give her toys to look at while she learns to balance herself. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your baby at 9 months asterisk baby's name baby's age today's date milestones matter. How your baby plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your baby has reached by 9 months. Take this with you and talk with your baby's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your baby has reached and what to expect next. What most babies do by this stage. Social emotional milestones is shy, clingy, or fearful around strangers shows several facial expressions, like happy, sad, angry, and surprised looks when you call her name reacts when you leave, looks, reaches for you, or cries, smiles or laughs when you play peekaboo language communication milestones makes different sounds like mama mama and baba baba lifts arms up to be picked up cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, Problem solving looks for objects when dropped out of sight, like his spoon or toy. Mangs two things together movement physical development milestones gets to a sitting position by herself moves things from one hand to her other hand uses fingers to rake food towards himself sits without support. It's time for developmental screening. At nine months, your baby is due for general developmental screening as recommended for all children by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Ask the doctor about your baby's developmental screening. Other important things to share with the doctor, what are some things you and your baby do together? What are some things your baby likes to do? Is there anything your baby does or does not do that concerns you? Has your baby lost any skills he she once had? Does your baby have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your baby best. Don't wait. If your baby is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your baby's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned, 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your baby more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your baby can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your baby, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your baby learn and grow as your baby's first teacher, you can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your baby's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your baby's development. Repeat your baby's sounds and say simple words using those sounds. For example, if your baby says, Bababa, repeat, Bababa, then say, book. Place toys on the ground or on a play mat a little out of reach and encourage your baby to crawl, scoot, or roll to get them. Celebrate when she reaches them. Teach your baby to wave, bye-bye, or shake his head, no. For example, wave and say, bye-bye, when you are leaving. You can also teach simple baby sign language to help your baby tell you what he wants before he can use words.
Play games, such as peekaboo. You can cover your head with a cloth and see if your baby pulls it off. Play with your baby by dumping blocks from a container and putting them back in together. Play games with your baby, such as my turn, your turn. Try this by passing a toy back and forth. Read to your baby. Reading can be talking about pictures. For example, while looking at books or magazines, name the pictures as you point to them. Limit screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. To video calling with loved ones. Screen time is not recommended for children younger than two years of age. Babies learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. Find out about choking risks and safe foods to feed your baby. Let him practice feeding himself with his fingers and using a cup with a small amount of water. Sit next to your baby and enjoy meal time together. Expect spills. Learning is messy and fun. Ask for behaviors that you want. For example, instead of saying, don't stand, say, time to sit. Help your baby get used to foods with different tastes and textures. Foods can be smooth, mashed, or finely chopped. Your baby might not like every food on the first try. Give her a chance to try foods again and again. Say a quick and cheerful goodbye instead of sneaking away so your baby knows you are leaving, even if he cries. He will learn to calm himself and what to expect. Let him know when you return by saying, Daddy's back. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your baby at 12 months baby's name baby's age today's date milestones matter. How your baby plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your baby has reached by 12 months. Take this with you and talk with your baby's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your baby has reached and what to expect next. What most babies do by this age. Social emotional milestones plays games with you, like path a cake language communication milestones waves, bye bye calls a parent, mama or dada or another special name understands, no, pauses briefly or stops when you say it, cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, problem solving, puts something in a container, like a block in a cup looks for things he sees you hide, like a toy under a blanket movement physical development milestones pulls up to stand walks, holding on to the furniture drinks from a cup without a lid, as you hold it picks things up between thumb and pointer finger, like small bits of food other important things to share with the doctor, what are some things you and your baby do together? What are some things your baby likes to do? Is there anything your baby does or does not do that concerns you? Has your baby lost any skills he she once had? Does your baby have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your baby best. Don't wait. If your baby is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your baby's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned, 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your baby more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your baby can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your baby, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your baby learn and grow as your baby's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way.
Talk with your baby's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your baby's development. Teach your baby wanted behaviors. Show her what to do and use positive words or give her hugs and kisses when she does it. For example, if she pulls your pet's tail, teach her how to pet gently and give her a hug when she does it. Talk or sing to your baby about what you're doing. For example, mommy is washing your hands or sing, this is the way we wash our hands. Build on what your baby tries to say. If he says to say yes, a truck, or if he says truck, say yes, that's a big blue truck. Redirect your baby quickly and consistently by giving her a toy or moving her if she is getting into things you don't want her to get into. Save no for behaviors that are dangerous. When you say no, say it firmly. Do not spank, yell, or give her long explanations. Give your baby safe places to explore. Baby proof your home. For example, move sharp or breakable things out of reach. Lock away medicines, chemicals, and cleaning products. Save the poison helpline number, 800-222-1222, in all phones. Respond with words when your baby points. Babies point to ask for things. For example, say, you want the cup? Here is the cup. It's your cup. If he tries to say, cup, celebrate his attempt. Point to interesting things you see such as a truck, bus, or animals. This will help your baby pay attention to what others are showing him through pointing. Limit screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. To video calling with loved ones. Screen time is not recommended for children younger than two years of age. Babies learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. Give your baby water, breast milk, or plain milk. You don't need to give your baby juice, but if you do, give 4 ounces or less a day of 100% fruit juice. Do not give your baby other sugary beverages, such as fruit drinks, soda, sports drinks, or flavored milks. Help your baby get used to foods with different tastes and textures. Foods can be smooth, mashed, or finely chopped. Your baby might not like every food on the first try. Give your baby a chance to try foods again and again. Give your baby time to get to know a new caregiver. Bring a favorite toy, stuffed animal, or blanket to help comfort your baby. Give your baby pots and pans or a small musical instrument like a drum or cymbals. Encourage your baby to make noise. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636, learn the signs. Act early. Your child at 15 months child's name child's age today's date milestones matter. How your child plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your child has reached by 15 months. Take this with you and talk with your child's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your child has reached and what to expect next. What most children do by this age? Social emotional milestones copies other children while playing, like taking toys out of a container when another child does shows you an object she likes claps when excited hugs stuffed doll or other toy shows you affection, hugs, cuddles, or kisses you. Language communication milestones tries to say one or two words besides mama or dada, like ba for ball or da for dog looks at a familiar object. When you name it follows directions given with both a gesture and words. For example, he gives you a toy when you hold out your hand and say, give me the toy. Points to ask for something or to get help. Cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, Problem solving tries to use things the right way, like a phone, cup, 
or book stacks at least two small objects, like blocks movement physical development milestones takes a few steps on his own uses fingers to feed herself some food other important things to share with the doctor, what are some things you and your child do together? What are some things your child likes to do? Is there anything your child does or does not do that concerns you? Has your child lost any skills he she once had? Does your child have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your child best. Don't wait. If your child is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your child's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned. 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your child more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your child can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your child, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your child's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development. Help your child learn to speak. A child's early words are not complete. Repeat and add to what he says. He may say, ba for ball and you can say, ball, yes, that's a ball. Tell your child the names of objects when he points to them and wait a few seconds to see if he makes any sounds before handing it to him. If he does make a sound, acknowledge him, and repeat the name of the object. Yes. Cup. Find ways to let your child help with everyday activities. Let her get her shoes to go outside, put the snacks in the bag for the park, or put the socks in the basket. Have steady routines for sleeping and feeding. Create a calm, quiet bedtime for your child. Put on his pajamas, brush his teeth, and read one or two books to him. Children between 1 and 2 years of age need 11 to 14 hours of sleep a day, including naps. Consistent sleep times make it easier. Show your child different things, such as a hat. Ask him, what do you do with a hat? You put it on your head. Put it on your head and then give it to him to see if he copies you. Do this with other objects, such as a book or a cup. Sing songs with gestures, such as, wheels on the bus. See if your child tries to do some of the actions. Say what you think your child is feeling, for example, sad, mad, frustrated, happy. Use your words, facial expressions, and voice to show what you think she is feeling. For example, say, you are frustrated because we can't go outside, but you can't hit. Let's go look for an indoor game. Expect tantrums. They are normal at this age and are more likely if your child is tired or hungry. Tantrums should become shorter and happen less as he gets older. You can try a distraction, but it is okay to let him have the tantrum without doing anything. Give him some time to calm down and move on. Teach your child wanted behaviors. Show her what to do and use positive words or give her hugs and kisses when she does it. For example, if she pulls your pet's tail, teach her how to pet gently. Give her a hug when she does it. Limit screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. To video calling with loved ones. Screen time is not recommended for children younger than two years of age. Children learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. Encourage your child to play with blocks. You can stack the blocks and she can knock them down. Let your child use a cup without a lid for drinking and practice eating with a spoon. Learning to eat and drink is messy but fun. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 7
75% or more can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cbc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your child at 18 months asterisk child's name child's age today's date milestones matter. How your child plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your child has reached by 18 months. Take this with you and talk with your child's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your child has reached and what to expect next. What most children do by this age? Social emotional milestones moves away from you, but looks to make sure you are close by points to show you something interesting puts hands out for you to wash them looks at a few pages in a book with you helps you dress him by pushing arm through sleeve or lifting the foot language communication milestones tries to say three or more words besides mama or dada follows one step directions without any gestures, like giving you the toy when you say give it to me. Cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, problem solving, copies you doing chores, like sweeping with a broom plays with toys in a simple way, like pushing a toy car movement physical development milestones walks without holding on to anyone or anything scribbles drinks from a cup without a lid and may spill sometimes feeds herself with her fingers tries to use a spoon climbs on and off a couch or chair without help asterisk it's time for developmental screening. At 18 months, your child is due for general developmental screening and an autism screening, as recommended for all children by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Ask the doctor about your child's developmental screening. Other important things to share with the doctor, what are some things you and your child do together? What are some things your child likes to do? Is there anything your child does or does not do that concerns you? Has your child lost any skills he she once had? Does your child have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your child best. Don't wait. If your child is not meeting one or more or milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your child's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned, 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your child more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your child can get services to help. Learn more and find a number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your child, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher, you can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your child's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development. Use positive words and give more attention to behaviors you want to see, wanted behaviors. For example, Look how nicely you put the toy away. Give less attention to those you don't want to see. Encourage pretend play. Give your child a spoon so she can pretend to feed her stuffed animal. Take turns pretending. Help your child learn about others' feelings and about positive ways to react. For example, when he sees a child who is sad, say, he looks sad. Let's bring him a teddy. Ask simple questions to help your child think about what's around her. For example, ask her, what is that? Let your child use a cup without a lid for drinking and practice eating with a spoon. Learning to eat and drink is messy but fun. Give simple choices. Let your child choose between two things. For example, when dressing, ask him if he wants to wear the red or blue shirt. Have steady routines for sleeping and eating. For example, sit at the table with your child when she's eating meals and snacks. This helps set mealtime routines for your family. Limit screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. To video calling with loved ones, 
Screen time is not recommended for children younger than two years of age. Children learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. Limit your own screen time when you are with your child so you are able to respond to her words and actions. Ask your child's doctor and or teachers if your child is ready for toilet training. Most children are not successful at toilet training until two to three years old. If he is not ready, it can cause stress and setbacks, which can cause training to take longer. Expect tantrums. They are normal at this age and should become shorter and happen less often as your child gets older. You can try distractions, but it's okay to ignore the tantrum. Give him some time to calm down and move on. Talk with your child by facing her and getting down to her eye level when possible. This helps your child see what you're saying through your eyes and face, not just your words. Start to teach your child the names for body parts by pointing them out and saying things like, Here's your nose, here's my nose, while pointing to her nose and your own. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your child at two years asterisk child's name child's age today's date milestones matter. How your child plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your child has reached by age two. Take this with you and talk with your child's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your child has reached and what to expect next. What most children do by this age. Social emotional milestones notices when others are hurt or upset, like pausing or looking sad when someone is crying looks at your face to see how to react in a new situation language communication milestones points to things in a book when you ask, like, where is the bear? Says at least two words together, like, more milk. Points to at least two body parts when you ask him to show you uses more gestures than just waving and pointing, like blowing a kiss or nodding. Yes, cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, problem solving, hold something in one hand while using the other hand. For example, holding a container and taking the lid off tries to use switches, knobs, or buttons on a toy plays with more than one toy at the same time, like putting toy food on a toy plate movement physical development milestones kicks a ball runs walks, not climbs up a few stairs with or without help eats with the spoon asterisk it's time for developmental screening. At two years, your child is due for an autism screening, as recommended for all children by the American Academy of Ooh. Pediatrics. Ask that. the doctor about your child's developmental screening. Other important things to share with the doctor, what are some things you and your child do together? What are some things your child likes to do? Is there anything your child does or does not do that concerns you? Has your child lost any skills he she once had? Does your child have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your child best. Don't wait. If your child is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your child's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned. 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your child more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your child can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your child, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way.
Talk with your child's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development. Help your child learn how words sound, even if he can't say them clearly yet. For example, if your child says, or Nana, say, you want more banana. Watch your child closely during play dates. Children this age play next to each other, but do not know how to share and solve problems. Show your child how to deal with conflicts by helping her share, take turns, and use words when possible. Have your ch child help you get ready for mealtime by letting them carry things to the table, such as plastic cups or napkins. Thank your child for helping. Give your child balls to kick, roll, and throw. Give toys that teach your child how to make things work and how to solve problems. For example, give her toys where she can push a button and something happens. Let your child play dress up with grown-up clothes, such as shoes, hats, and shirts. This helps him begin to pretend play. Allow your child to eat as much or as little as she wants at each meal. Toddlers don't always eat the same amount or type of food each day. Your job is to offer her healthy foods and it's your child's job to decide if and how much she needs to eat. Have steady routines for sleeping and feeding. Create a calm, quiet bedtime for your child. Put on his pajamas, brush his teeth, and read one or two books to him. Children this age need 11 to 14 hours of sleep a day, including naps. Consistent sleep times make it easier. Ask your child's doctor and or teachers about toilet training to know if your child is ready to start. Most children are not able to toilet train until 2 to 3 years old. Starting too early can cause stress and setbacks, which can cause training to take longer. Use positive words when your child is being a good helper. Let him help with simple chores, such as putting toys or laundry in a basket. Play with your child outside, by playing ready, set, go. For example, pull your child back in a swing. Say ready, set, then wait and say go when you push the swing. Let your child create simple art projects with you. Give your child crayons or put some finger paint on paper and let her explore by spreading it around and making dots. Hang it on the wall or refrigerator so your child can see it. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your child at 30 months asterisk child's name child's age today's date milestones matter. How your child plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your child has reached by 30 months. Take this with you and talk with your child's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your child has reached and what to expect next. What most children do by this age. Social emotional milestones plays next to other children and sometimes plays with them shows you what she can do by saying, look at me. Follows simple routines when told, like helping to pick up toys when you say, it's clean up time. Language communication milestone says about 50 words says two or more words with one action word like dog G run names things in a book when you point and ask, what is this? Says words like, I, me, or, we, cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, problem solving uses things to pretend, like feeding a block to a doll, as if it were food shows simple problem solving skills, like standing on a small stool to reach something, follows two step instructions like, put the toy down and close the door, shows he knows at least one color, like pointing to a red crayon when you ask, which one is red? Movement Physical Development Milestones uses hands to twist things, like turning doorknobs or unscrewing lids takes some clothes off by himself, 
leg loose pants or an open jacket jumps off the ground with both feet turns book pages, one at a time, when you read to her asterisk it's time for developmental screening. At 30 months, your child is due for general developmental screening as recommended for all children by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Ask the doctor about your child's developmental screening. Other important things to share with the doctor. What are some things you and your child do together? What are some things your child likes to do? Is there anything your child does or does not do that concerns you? Has your child lost any skills he she once had? Does your child have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your child best. Don't wait. If your child is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your child's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned, 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your child more, and 2. Call your state or territory's early intervention program to find out if your child can get services to help. Learn more and find the number at cdc.gov slash findei. For more on how to help your child, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your child's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development. Encourage free play, where your child can follow her interests, try new things, and use things in new ways. Use positive words and give more attention to behaviors you want to see, wanted behaviors, than to those you don't want to see. For example, say, like how you gave Jordan the toy. Give your child food choices that are simple and healthy. Let him choose what to eat for a snack, what to wear. Limit choices to two or three. A simple question. Such as what and where help. Okay, every now and then it just gets so full. We don't have that much more to go. But, you know, I just want to understand what's happening here in this state because in this state of Nevada, honestly, we really can't understand, you know, what are the developmental milestones that are happening from each community, each subgroup. Because, you know, the reality is, is that seven, when, when the state has selected seven years old as a enter into kindergarten, or first grade, it's a problem because that's what the state selected. But they're not requiring any of this other information that's critical. And as you can see, it's the federal government that gives you all these wonderful resources. So let's just finish. And then after I finish here, I'll probably end the video. Let's see, start speaking. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your child's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development. Encourage free play where your child can follow her interests, try new things, and use things in new ways. Use positive words and give more attention to behaviors you want to see, wanted behaviors, than to those you don't want to see. For example, say, Hey, I like how you gave Jordan the toy. Give your child food choices that are simple and healthy. Let him choose what to eat for a snack or what to wear. Limit choices to two or three. Ask your child simple questions about books and stories. Ask questions such as who, what, and where. Help your child learn how to play with other children. Show him how by helping him share, take turns and use his words. Let your child draw with crayons on paper, shaving cream on a tray, or chalk on a sidewalk. If you draw a straight line, see if she will copy you. When she gets good at lines, show her how to draw a circle.
Let your child play with other children, such as at a park or library. Ask about local play groups and preschool programs. Playing with others helps them learn the value of sharing and friendship. Eat family meals together as much as you can. Give the same meal to everyone. Enjoy each other's company and avoid screen time, TV, tablets, and phones, etc. During meals, limit screen time. TV, tablets, phones, etc. to no more than one hour per day of a children's program with an adult present. Children learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. Use words to describe things to your child, such as big small, fast slow, on off, and in out. Help your child do simple puzzles with shapes, colors, or animals. Name each piece when your child puts it in place. Play with your child outside. For example, take your child to the park to climb on equipment and run in safe areas. Allow your child to eat as much or as little as she wants at each meal. Your job is to offer her healthy foods and it's your child's job to decide if and how much she wants to eat. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your child at three years child's name child's age today's date milestones matter. How your child plays, learns, speaks, acts, and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your child has reached by age three. Take this with you and talk with your child's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your child has reached and what to expect next. What most children do by this age. Social emotional milestones calms down within 10 minutes after you leave her, like at a child care drop off notices other children and joins them to play language communication milestones talks with you in conversation using at least two back and forth exchanges asks who, what, where, or why questions like where is mommy daddy? Says what action is happening in a picture or book when asked, like, running, eating, or playing, says first name, when asked talks well enough for others to understand, most of the time cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, problem solving, draws a circle, when you show him how he avoids touching hot objects, like a stove, when you warn her movement physical development milestone strings items together, like large beads or macaroni puts on some clothes by himself, like loose pants or a jacket uses a fork other important things to share with the doctor, what are some things you and your child do together? What are some things your child likes to do? Is there anything your child does or does not do that concerns you? Has your child lost any skills he she once had? Does your child have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your child best. Don't wait. If your child is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your child's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned, 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your child more, and 2. Call any local public elementary school for a free evaluation to find out if your child can get services to help. For more on how to help your child, visit cdc.gov slash concerned. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher, you can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your child's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development. Encourage your child to solve her own problems with your support. Ask questions to help her understand the problem. Help her think of solutions.
Try one out, and try more if needed. Talk about your child's emotions and give them words to help him explain how he's feeling. Help your child manage stressful feelings by teaching him to take deep breaths, hug a favorite toy, or go to a quiet, safe place when he is upset. Set a few simple and clear rules that your child can follow, such as use gentle hands when playing. If he breaks a rule, show him what to do instead. Later, if your child follows the rule, recognize and congratulate him. Read with your child. Ask questions, such as, what is happening in the picture? And or, what do you think will happen next? When she gives you an answer, ask for more details. Play counting games. Count body parts, stairs, and other things you use or see every day. Children this age are starting to learn about numbers and counting. Help your child develop his language skills by speaking to him in longer sentences than he is using real words. Repeat what he says, for example, need nana, and then show how to use more grown-up words by saying, I want a banana. Let your child help with making meals. Give him simple tasks, such as washing fruits and vegetables or stirring. Give your child instructions with two or three steps. For example, go to your room and get your shoes and coat. Limit screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. To no more than one hour per day of a children's program with an adult present. Don't put any screens in your child's bedroom. Children learn by talking, playing, and interacting with others. Teach your child simple songs and rhymes, such as, Itsy Bitsy Spider, or, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Give your child an activity box with paper, crayons, and coloring books. Color and draw lines and shapes with your child. Encourage your child to play with other children. This helps him learn the value of friendship and how to get along with others. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your child at four years child's main child's age today's date milestones matter. How your child plays, learns, speaks, acts and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your child has reached by age 4. Take this with you and talk with your child's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your child has reached and what to expect next. What most children do by this age. Social emotional milestones pretends to be something else during play. Teacher, superhero, dog asks to go play with children if none are around, like can I play with Alex? Comforts others who are hurt or sad, like hugging a crying friend avoids danger, like not jumping from tall heights at the playground likes to be a helper changes behavior based on where she is, place of worship, library, playground, language communication milestone says sentences with four or more words says some words from a song, story, or nursery rhyme talks about at least one thing that happened during his day, like I played soccer. Answers simple questions like, what is a coat for? Or, what is a crayon for? Cognitive milestones, learning, thinking, problem solving, names a few colors of items tells what comes next in a well-known story draws a person with three or more body parts movement physical development milestones catches a large ball most of the time serves himself food or pours water. With adult supervision unbuttons some buttons holds crayon or pencil between fingers and thumb, not a fist. Other important things to share with the doctor, what are some things you and your child do together? What are some things your child likes to do? Is there anything your child does or does not do that concerns you? Has your child lost any skills he she once had? Does your child have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? 
you know your child best. Don't wait. If your child is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your child's doctor, share your concerns, and ask about developmental screening. If you or the doctor are still concerned. 1. Ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your child more, and 2. Call any local public elementary school for a free evaluation to find out if your child can get services to help. For more on how to help your child, visit cdc.gov slash concern. Don't wait. Acting early can make a real difference. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your child's doctor and teachers if you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development. Help your child be ready for new places and meeting new people. For example, you can read stories or role play, pretend play to help him be comfortable. Read with your child. Ask him what's happening in the story and what he thinks might happen next. Help your child learn about colors, shapes, and sizes. For example, ask the color, shapes, and size of things she sees during the day. Encourage your child to use his words to ask for things and solve problems but show him how. He may not know the words he needs. For example, help your child say, can I have a turn? Instead of taking something from someone, help your child learn about others' feelings and about positive ways to react. For example, when he sees a child who is sad, say, He looks sad. Let's bring him a teddy. Use positive words and give attention to behaviors you want to see, wanted behaviors. For example, say, You're sharing that toy so nicely. Give less attention to those you don't want to see. Tell your child in a simple way why she can't do something you don't want her to do unwanted behavior. Give her a choice of what she can do instead. For example, you can't jump on the bed. Do you want to go outside and play or put on some music and dance? Let your child play with other children, such as at a park or library. Ask about local play groups and preschool programs. Playing with others helps your child learn the value of sharing and friendship. Eat meals with your child when possible. Let her see you enjoy healthy foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. And drinking milk or water. Create a calm, quiet bedtime routine. Avoid any screen time, TV, phone, tablet, etc. For one to two hours before bed and don't put any screens in your child's bedroom. Children this age need 10 to 13 hours of sleep a day, including naps. Consistent sleep times make it easier. Give your child toys or things that encourage his imagination, such as dress-up clothes, pots and pans to pretend cook, or blocks to build with. Join him in pretend play, such as eating the pretend food he cooks. Take time to answer your child's why questions. If you don't know the answer, say, I don't know, or help your child find the answer in a book, on the internet, or from another adult. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-I-N-F-O 1-800-232-4636 Learn the signs. Act early. Your child at 5 years child's name child's age today's date milestones matter. How your child plays, learns, speaks, acts and moves offers important clues about his or her development. Check the milestones your child has reached by age 5. Take this with you and talk with your child's doctor at every well child visit about the milestones your child has reached and what to expect next. What most children do by this age, 
Social emotional milestones follows rules or takes turns when playing games with other children sings, dances, or acts for you does simple chores at home, like matching socks or clearing the table after eating language communication milestones tells a story she heard or made up with at least two events. For example, a cat was stuck in a tree and a firefighter saved it answers simple questions about a book or story after you read or tell it to him keeps a conversation going with more than three back and forth exchanges uses or recognizes simple rhymes bad cat ball tall cognitive milestones learning thinking problem solving counts to ten names some numbers between one and five when you point to them uses words about time like yesterday tomorrow morning or night pays attention for five to ten minutes during activities for example during story time or making arts and crafts screen time does not count write some letters in her name name some letters when you point to them movement physical development milestones buttons some buttons hops on one foot other important things to share with the doctor what are some things you and your child do together what are some things your child likes to do? Is there anything your child does or does not do that concerns you? Has your child lost any skills he she once had? Does your child have any special health care needs or was he she born prematurely? You know your child best. Don't wait. If your child is not meeting one or more milestones, has lost skills he or she once had, or you have other concerns, act early. Talk with your child's doctor share your concerns and ask about developmental screening if you or the doctor are still concerned one ask for a referral to a specialist who can evaluate your child more and two call any local public elementary school for a free evaluation to find out if your child can get services to help for more on how to help your child visit cdc.gov slash concern don't wait Acting early can make a real difference. Help your child learn and grow as your child's first teacher. You can help his or her learning and brain development. Try these simple tips and activities in a safe way. Talk with your child's doctor and teachers. If you have questions or for more ideas on how to help your child's development, your child might start to talk back in order to feel independent and test what happens. Limit the attention you give to the negative words. Find alternative activities for her to do that allow her to take the lead and be independent. Make a point of noticing good behavior. You stay calm when I told you it's bedtime. Ask your child what she is playing. Help her expand her answers by asking why and how. For example, say, that's nice bridge you're building. Why did you put it there? Play with toys that encourage your child to put things together, such as puzzles and building blocks. Use words to help your child begin to understand time. For example, sing song the days of the week and let him know what day it is. Use words about time, such as today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Let your child do things for himself, even if he doesn't do it perfectly. For example, let him make his bed button his shirt or pour water into a cup celebrate when he does it and try not to fix anything you don't have to talk about and label your child's and your own feelings read books and talk about the feelings characters have and why they have them play rhyming games for example say what rhymes with cat teach your child to follow rules in games for example play simple board games card games or Simon says, create a spot in your home for your child to go to when he's upset. Stay nearby so your child knows he is safe and can come to you for help calming as needed. Set limits for screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. For your child, to no more than one hour per day. Make a media use plan for your family. Eat meals with your child and enjoy family time talking together. Give the same meal to everyone. Avoid screen time, TV, tablets, phones, etc. During mealtime, let your child help prepare the healthy foods and enjoy them together.
Encourage your child to read by looking at the pictures and telling the story. Play games that help with memory and attention. For example, play card games, tic-tac-toe, I spy, or hot and cold. To see more tips and activities download CDC's Milestone Tracker app. This milestone checklist is not a substitute for a standardized, validated developmental screening tool. These developmental milestones show what most children, 75% or more, can do by each age. Subject matter experts selected these milestones based on available data and expert consensus. www.cdc.gov slash act early 1-800-CDC-INFO 1-800-232-4636. So, that's, I mean, that's just critical. What we're talking about, I'm stopping the share. Early access and how your state ensures access for all children and what the state is actually doing in regards to the collection of data in regards to how they're aligning those services. How, what is the connection between the health care and public schools here in Nevada? I don't know. I mean, we have developmental stages and we have health care. And then we just entered into this new partnership with Molina and some other kind of agency, telephone agency, I don't know. But, you know, the problem is, how does the school coordinate those services for the people that they're providing services? How is the county engaged into the linking of services and measuring all of that? I mean, you know, we just have access to all the data and we don't have any data. And I'm just wondering, why do they believe that they still need to be the ones to do the work if no work is getting done and the work that is happening? It's not for the children who are generating the funds. And I'm sorry, but this is America. Did you not know? The word is e purpose. You know, out of many, there's one. And out of one, well, there may be none. But the word is, what will you do in 22? This is Darlene Anderson saying, like, subscribe, and find my podcast on Anchor, Parent Empowerment Hour. But understand, it is we the people. And we includes me, just as I'm a patriot, just like you. I was born in America, and I say that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for who? Because it has not been for people who look like me. But it will be in 22. So stand up and understand we are doing something new. Y'all have a great day. I'm going to try to get to the end.